Well, tonight, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake says she will follow through on her promise to veto two controversial bills that passed in city council. All right, banning plastic bags and forcing police to wear body cameras. We'll start with the bags first. ABC 2 News Christian Schaefer has that story from the newsroom tonight. Yeah, guys, the mayor says she's no fan of the plastic bags floating through the air and into the harbor, but the process that led to this bill, she says, belongs in the landfill. The announcement of the bill that would ban plastic bags from Baltimore City grocery stores didn't even reference the ban. Ordinance for the purpose of imposing a surcharge on certain bags provided by dealers to customers. But last week, council members passed an amendment changing the old five cent surcharge bill to a ban. Tonight, council members defended it as a way to keep the bags from blowing around the city and eventually into the harbor. How many of us shop at Sam's Club, oh, BJ's, Costco? Aldi's, a save a lot. They don't give any bags, but we managed to shop there and shop there quite a bit. Councilwoman Sharon Green Middleton said initially she did not support a fee or a ban because she believed it would target low income city residents. Yeah. Now she says more organizations are giving out cloth bags, and she believes plastic bags given out by stores are closer to trash than they used to be. Since 2007, I noticed the change in these plastic bags. The bill's main sponsor, Jim Kraft, says he doesn't know why the mayor would veto it. The mayor has indicated that she would sign a bill for a 10 cent tax on plastic bags. But in a news conference after the vote, the mayor said that change from a fee to a ban without going back for more public comment is reason enough. When they don't get it right, I have to be the chief executive for our city, and I can't sign uh, legislation that I think is sending the wrong message to our citizens and to businesses. Now, assuming the mayor vetoes the bill, the council would need 12 votes to override the veto. The bill got just 10 yes votes, one no, and then three council members abstained, one was absent. So at this point, with just the 10 yes votes, it does not appear council would have enough votes to go against the mayor on the issue of banning plastic bags. Live in the newsroom, Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.